Hello, my name's Stuart. I'm the curator of the Cromwell Museum in Huntingdon. It's a great pleasure to be back with you again today for another one of our Cromwellian conversations. It's been a couple of weeks since we did the last one. And uh, I'm again in the Cromwell Museum, just doing some condition checks today. Um, it's currently the middle of April 2021, and we're hopefully reopening in a few weeks' time as lockdown conditions in the UK begin to ease somewhat. Uh, one of the uh, prized, prized objects in the museum's collections is the item you can see just over my shoulder behind me here, which is this beautiful Florentine jest that dates from about 1656. And uh, it's one of the items that we know in the museum's collections definitely belonged to Oliver Cromwell. We know that it was presented to him in that year by the Grand Duke of Tuscany as a diplomatic gift. Of course, uh, even today, many people give items to the Prime Minister or to the Queen when they're on official visits somewhere. And of course, this was no different back in the 17th century. For diplomatic purposes, quite often gifts were passed between rulers as a way of showing respect and admiration for each other. And of course, also hopefully wanting to create treaties and good relations. And this particular walnut chest here is, uh, as I say, a Florentine chest. It's decorated with this uh, sort of almost kind of mosaic-like patterns that you can see around the outside of it here. Uh, sort of mixture of different sorts of forms of stone and ebony and so on which have been brought together to form these beautiful patterns on the outside of the chest. Inside of several drawers, um, there's a kind of lift-off lockable front which uh, reveals the drawers inside. And uh, inside these drawers are still today uh, small little glass or um, uh, sort of stoneware uh, sort of little uh, flasks which would have contained originally uh, soaps. This type of item is known as a pomade chest. Pomade is a sort of 17th century word for what today many people in Britain might call smellies, uh, things that you would use to sort of beautify yourself or to make you sort of smell nice. Uh, so in this case, for example, we know there are soaps contained in some of the little pots inside here. And in fact, scientific analysis of some of the uh, surviving fragments of soap have shown that it had a basis of olive oil and that in some cases it was also scented with oranges. So you've got the lovely image of Oliver Cromwell washing in orange scented soap. The uh, little pots are still decorated with these beautifully embroidered caps. Well, some of these unfortunately have deteriorated over time, but many of them are very well preserved and still retain their original colour and decoration. They're almost as fresh as the day they were made. So it's a remarkable survival, this particular beautiful item, um, as I say, given to Cromwell by the Grand Duke of Tuscany. And we're very privileged to have this particular item today. It's uh, one of the many personal items that belong to Cromwell that's kindly on loan to us from the Bush family, who are his immediate descendants through his youngest son, Henry. Now, if you can want to see uh, the chest, you can come and see it. It's on display inside the museum. Hopefully, as I say, we'll be reopening in the middle of May. Uh, this particular item is on permanent display, and at the moment we've also pulled some of the drawers out, as we do very occasionally, to allow people to see some of the beautifully embroidered caps inside. We can only do this for fairly limited periods of time to avoid them fading in the light um, outside, so we can retain their original colour and vibrancy. So if you come and see us in May, June time, you'll still be able to see these uh, particular items uh, kind of displayed in their full glory. If you want more information about this object and many of the other items in the museum's collections, you can go to our website, www.cromwellmuseum.org, and details are in the closing card at the end of this video. Uh, you can also keep an eye out for many of the little posts that we have about these items in the museum's Facebook and Twitter feeds. You can also find out more details by buying a copy of the Cromwell Museum's guidebook, which is available through our online shop on the website as well, as well as many other souvenirs that are inspired by our remarkable collections. Otherwise, please stay safe, uh, please stay sane in these very strange times, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.